plays tonight. You know, we sat down with him yesterday, and he was excited about the opportunity. He said, you know, we're not going to change a lot. We, we score an average of 42 points per game, so we're not going to reinvent the wheel. But there will be. You want to put one of your best cover corners or cover defenders out there on top of him. White will throw down the middle of the field behind the receiver at the 42-yard line. Almost never do when they have the football. And they'll go a little tunnel screen here, caught at the 22-yard line. And Memphis's defense is quick on Norris. But Norris trying to make a lot happen. It's brought down to the 19-yard line by Jannard Avery. At first. Second down, 15. White, plenty of time in the pocket. Receiver wide open. Defender falls down. There's Norris down the sideline and in the Tigers' territory and around the 45-yard line. First first down for Western Kentucky. Mollette finally brings him down. But the key, Dave, was like you said, he had plenty of time. I mean, they have a very good offensive line. When you talk to the interim head coach, Nick Holt, he speaks very highly about his offense all sorts of time to wait for that play to develop. That was a 33-yard play white. Now they quickly go out of the backfield. This will be Wales. He's an excellent receiver out of the backfield. And as you see, a hard runner. He'll go inside the 25 down snap in the Conference USA title game. He goes out for a pass. They throw the other direction. And that's going to be Taewon Taylor with a catch. And I believe in the grass right there was left foot was. Now they're playing See? on to the end zone for Taylor. And it's covered away nicely by Memphis. So no quarterback. They put Taylor out to the right side, look in that direction. Now looks toward the middle, ends a wide open touchdown for Western Kentucky. Really brag and boast about their offensive line. It's the strength of this team outside of the receivers. White looking long, now goes middle, and it's going to be caught to the 37 out of the 40 yard line. Nicholas Norris. Really surprising. White, they'll take the screen here. That's Anthony Wales. Wales making it happen. 40, 35, breaking tackles, gets inside the extra five or six yards. Last season, he wasn't able to do that. Wow, White got a very fortunate bounce, and he will be sacked for the first time in four games. Memphis able just to smother him. It could have been a disastrous one. I tell you what, the Hilltoppers uh, offensive line, they need to get it going because you have Maxie, the center. First, he had a false start a couple of plays. Time again for White underneath. Tricky little catch made and an immediate hit. Taylor making the grab, and he was dragged down right away by Avery. They're still trying to play two safeties. They're dropping one safety down. White comes back the other Excellent way. Call. Well, Excellent that's going to be a touchdown. An easy one for Forrest Lamp. White off the play action. Down the middle of the field into a lot of traffic and incomplete trying to fit it in. The Lamp, Max Halpin. Darrell Williams, those guys are the heart and soul of our offense and of our team. That'll be an eight-yard gain and a catch. I think he's not worried as much now about his old job, which was signaling, signaling the plays. No, he's not worried at all. He's quite happy. Norris with a touchdown. Western. Didn't know his name, so he used to call him Chibo, which is <laughs> Spanish for wild goat. And that name stuck with little Chibo. Look at him get behind the defense right here. Snatches the ball with his hands out of the sky. I mean, he has great hands, excellent quickness, and he's just an incredible competitor at five foot eight. I was expe expecting some sort of like. I want it to be a physical team in the way we practice and the way that we go from spring ball all the way through fall camp. Number one, I mean, if you went up front, you're going to win some games. So, uh, but we're going to be excited. We're going to be. And then White got hit again as he throws, and that pass sails over everybody. So suddenly, Mem Mike White. Empty backfield. Memphis will rush five this time. And plenty of room for White. We mentioned he doesn't run much, but he's going to run successfully, run out of bounds, and run for a first down. Quarterback Mike, Mike White. I mean, that's something you see Riley Ferguson do. But you know what? He's athletic enough that if you give him that much space, that much. <laughs> <laughs> White on the run, pass completed. Nothing much on that. <laughs> yes. But he did say, if I don't like it, I'm going to go ahead and take it back. But you saw no signaling there. In the meantime, you see a completion to Taewon Taylor. Surveying the defense. White has a few options, throws to the middle. It's going to be caught down to the six yard line. Quinn Van Base, 53 yard run. I thought it was kind of strange with 45 seconds on the clock for them to just 
take a knee. Going for it all right there. I think he got it. I think he got it. Oh, it's an oh. interception. No, yes. it was picked off. Yes. Taken by Dontrell Nelson. Nelson, the official, hesitated and all of a sudden threw up the touchback signal. Yep. First down. And the, the field judge, Jeff Nagel, right there to take a look at this. And he went into the end zone to make this call. Yeah, Dontrell. Dontrell picked that off. Dontrell Nelson with a great play on the ball. What a swing that was. Yes, you talk sir. about all of this. You know, they run the, the crazy little fakes. Not fake. Swing on the field is confirmed. There's interception and a touchback. White has time. They're not getting to him yet. Open. That is Taylor. And that'll be a first down for time back there. That was a really slow developing route by Taylor. He ran a deep crossing route, started on one side of the field and crossed all the way over almost to the numbers where he caught the ball. But that play happened. <laughs> makes his job much easier as a play caller. He can do just about anything he wants to do. Haven't seen White roll that out much. Wide touchdown. open, Taylor. Easy touchdown for the Hilltoppers. By Ellis and the man. <laughs> Where was the secondary? There's no safety help back there. No Great throw by either. White. Yeah, just in the game. In their eight wins, they forced 25 turnovers. White on the run. He'll fire long, incomplete, too high. It'll be third down. On the field to, to Taylor or to Norris. But to me, the reason they're winning this game right now is because they're dominating the line of scrimmage and they're able to run the ball. For seven yards, he would get seven yards. But nowadays, if a player is blocked for seven yards, he may get 15, he may get 18 mm -hmm. yards. Four. Picking them apart with his throws. White steps up, fires, and that'll be four out of six on third downs now for Western Kentucky. <laughs> Trying to get a big turnover. Like you said, after a great stop by the Tigers' defense, giving the ball to the Hilltoppers. And almost give up a touchdown. Yeah, he, you can see that. He really is. Just a smart individual, great kid. And a trick play here as White. On the flea flicker, it's caught and breaking loose down to the 40 yard line is Taewon Taylor. So Moore is just having fun right now. I mean, he can do whatever he wants to do. He can call whatever he wants to call. His, and his quarterback is just sitting back there with all sorts of time. The Tigers can't get any pressure off of any pressure on him. Can't get him off of his mark. Quentin Baker is the tailback. White rolls, quick throw, incomplete at the goal line. Hilltoppers back. He goes out of the backfield for the pass, circles around, and it's just fumbled around at the one yard line. In I mean, that, they, that hit him right on the numbers. I mean, yeah. Great throw by Mike White. And first, not quite in that position yet. And now the pressure comes in, and White is tossed to the ground by Mollett. That'll be. That's the goal, right? Get this education, get a degree. And then uh, hopefully it increases my uh, my potential earnings. Well, well, these players are trying to. Well, at this point in the game, I, I I understand. I can dig it. White, caught to the 28-yard line. Stutter step by Taylor. He's yeah. a GA, and he actually uh, works with the running backs. So, look out here. Boy, a violent blitz coming in from the other side. Arthur Moss will lose Taylor and Norris, your top two receivers. Guys over 1,000 yards, both of them. I know, and both of them averages, both of them average 17 yards per catch, which is insane to me. Two, they're not stopping the run. And one more thing about uh, Taewon Taylor. They played Alabama earlier in the season, and uh, Nick Saban said that Taewon Taylor is as good as any receiver they faced all year.